Uh, Nenalal Kidwai, immediate past president, Fiki and country head, HSBC India and director, HSBC, HSBC Asia Pacific is with us. Uh, Ma'am, thanks very much. Good afternoon. Prashant here. Uh, most who have come to our studios today, they have said, well, the good part about the budget is this, is that there is no, there's nothing bad in the budget. Would you agree with this? With that assessment? I would or you would say, well, it's actually good? I would agree. <laughs> I, I would agree. It's a solid budget. It's a balanced budget. There's an attempt to cover off many sectors uh, and appeal to all uh, without sacrificing uh, the FISC completely in doing that. So I do think that uh, it's uh, right. the best uh, that could have been done in the circumstances. Right. You know, some things like uh, the, the big headline grabbers, retro tax, etc., on which uh, there was expectation that the amendments would be done away with. A committee has been set up which will look into it uh, satisfied? Uh, well, I must say, I was not of the school that expected uh, a sweeping amendment. Uh, and the fact that there's a statement to the effect that this will, uh, that we will not see retrospective taxes uh, by and large going forward uh, is clearly a positive. I think uh, very significantly some of the issues around transfer pricing have also sought to be tackled. And uh, the fact that any thing that is decided in terms of transfer pricing today would apply to matters that uh, go back uh, four years actually applies so-called retrospective in a positive way. So I think we should give uh, uh, the finance minister uh, his due on that. Uh, and of course, uh, looking at the whole tax dispute resolution area where Fiki had put in, in fact, a, a book in terms of suggestions, to, we have to look to unlock the 4 lakh crores of rupees that is stuck in tax uh, uh, legislation right now. And it is going to therefore be important to look at the ways to come through it and there's been an attempt to address this through the budget speech where the finance minister has set out time-bound plans on how s some of the litigation uh, will also be looked at and addressed. So I think quite positive in terms of uh, what he's looking at going forward in terms of tax administration and tax reform rather than the specifics of each tax itself but really the way it will be uh, administered in the, f in the future. Uh, Ma'am, eventually, right, 4.1 fiscal deficit to GDP. Uh, you think eventually, uh, so it's assuming tax revenue collection of 20%. Last year was 10%, actual numbers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll see expenditure cuts like what Mr. Chidambaram had to resort to. That That's going to happen eventually. Or you think, I mean, it can be made I'm up this time. Oh, I think uh, it's going to be hard to continue with an expenditure program as set out initially. Uh, I think the attempt to do this through the setting up of the expenditure commission, which was announced, is possibly the way uh, that uh, will suggest that if not a cut, at least the review will mean it gets slowed down till the suggestions come forward on how this expenditure is going to move forward. And I think there would be two aspects to it. One is the actual quantum. Uh, and it's hard for any government to say that they're not going to spend what was set out to be spent on people uh, at the bottom of the pyramid. But more important, the how of uh, this money being spent is also something that needs to be addressed. And to that extent, I think, yes, there will be a slowdown in uh, the expenditure plan, as uh, we saw indeed in the first six months, uh, indeed the last 12 months, uh, through the past government as well. So yes, uh, I do think there will be cuts on expenditure because on the revenue side we have very little good news right now in terms of collections and with only six months to go before the next budget, there's no magic there. Uh, the finance minister did not mention a specific number for disinvestments, uh, but if you do the math, clearly what has been put into non-plan uh, uh, revenues, I think, would be disinvestment. And uh, that is one program which uh, we should see some robust disinvestment plans come through. The markets are high. There are companies that are performing very well in the government's fold, uh, some of which have to conform to SEBI's requirement 
they sh that there should be a minimum 25% listed. Some of these are just 10% of their stock listed and therefore the opportunity to make sure that uh, the conforming to SEBI happens, happening through disinvestment and therefore giving the money back into government coffers and may even enable the finance minister to reach the fisc of 4.1% which challenge he very nobly took up saying it was a daunting task but one which he was up to. Otherwise, the FISC looks like it is going to be at the 4.5% because that's what the numbers are as of now in the budget. Got that. Uh, my, my colleague uh, Anindya has some questions and uh, he'll just come in. I just want to wrap up the market. It's got about uh, a minute uh, to close and we'll basically end uh, not at the day's low but uh, 7539, 45 points lower. Uh, so this is uh, an extremely disappointing outcome for bulls in the market participants and you'd be hard pressed to find bears now in the market. Uh, I mean at least hardened bears. You'll find lots of hardened bulls. 17 up, uh, that's the tally on the nifty. Uh, 17 stocks higher, the rest down. Uh, so the losers will come up. Hero Motor Corp is down 4%. I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's any specific reason. There was nothing on autos which was uh, expected. The excise cuts were extended for another six months. I think. Tech Mahindra is down two and a quarter. Uh, that's been weak since the morning. SPI, State Bank of India, down about two and a quarter percent. Uh, so 25.24. It fell from 26.50. So, you know, big fall. About 125 rupees from the day high. TCS down about two percent. Bharti down about two percent or so, 3.34. Uh, Mahindra and Mahindra down about two percent. Bank of Baroda down about 1.7 percent. ICICI Bank down 1.6, Indusind Bank down 1.5, Punjab National Bank down 1.2. Uh, then you've got Tata Motors, Axis Bank, Asian Paints, BPCL and Bajaj, which are down about one, one and a quarter percent apiece. Uh, so this is, uh, this is what you have by close. Uh, let me just take a quick, quick look at sectors. So out of the 13 sectoral indices on my screen, if I just were to sort this by what lost the most and what gained the most, Realty right there, top of the list. I mean, there's... Uh, REITs there for real real estate, tax pass-through has been announced, uh, maybe helps. But as somebody, Mr. Adi Godridge, a little while back pointed out, uh, it's not complete uh, pass-through. We'll have to see the detail. Uh, there's FDI, uh, norms which have been re uh, relaxed, urban, push, to, uh, push towards rural housing, affordable housing. So, stocks did very well in that space. Index was up 5%. And then what was up was by small, uh, by very small amounts. Power index was up 1%, metal index was up half a percent or so, that's it. What was down was consumer, dur were consumer durables, 3% lower. Auto index was down one and a quarter. Bankex was down about one and a quarter. The IT index was down about 1% as well. Mid caps and small cap uh, indices uh, did better. So actually by close you had the mid cap index which ended up, up 0.6%. And the small cap index ended up three quarters of a percent or so. Of course, significantly off uh, from uh, off the day's high. Uh, you know, but uh, still, I mean, it's not a bad outcome for these uh, for these uh, for stocks in these sectors. And I think uh, the market breadth overall would be quite okay because mid cap and small cap indices uh, were higher. I think we've got the adjusted close now. It's not 45 points l uh, lower adjusted for the last 30 minutes average. It's down 17 on the Nifty, 17 points on the, uh, on the Nifty, 7567 uh, is where the Nifty is, uh, has ended. On it. Right, let me go back to Nenadal Kidwai. Ms. Kidwai, uh, one of the things that you know some people say is that when you are completely tied down by FRBM or a very strict fiscal policy, you give neither anything to the poor, you don't give anything to uh, India Incorporated either. You know, you, they could have taken a line that we have seen so many years of tendency towards tight fiscal policy but giving higher subsidies. They could have taken a line and said that we are going to cut taxes on corporate India, we are going to give some incentives to tax uh, corporate India and push uh, fiscal uh, discipline for another few years. I mean, uh, why is this obsession about fiscal dis discipline which ties down a finance minister in, from every side? Look at uh, the expectation and particularly from the markets, from uh, the operators, from economists, it has been towards demonstrating fiscal deficit. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is that our fisc is seen as very high. Now, the temptation could have been 
to do some of the things you're saying, but I do believe that would have sent the wrong signal. Uh, on the other hand, nor has there been a slash and kill in terms of tax, that by which I mean increasing taxes, which could have happened by a government that's panicked. And don't forget the noises that were being made by the finance minister were that it's going to be a tough budget, that uh, you know there's going to be pain. I don't think there's all that much pain in this budget, quite honestly. Uh, the fact that the FISC is actually pretty much at 4.5% for the rest of the year, I think, is a given. Because while he's accepted the 4.1% challenge, uh, you know, he will need the magic of disinvestments or something uh, that will enable him to get there. The numbers right 4.5%. And it is more the promise of 36 next year and 3, which is being held out, which uh, I think are uh, directionally right. Because if we can continue to water the green shoots of investment that have started this year and uh, the mood change, which is, I think, what is being uh, really gambled on. And if we can get GST through, I think we will get the boost we want because GST will give the revenue numbers back to government because there'll be less leakage. GST clearly is uh, the favorite of industry because it's cleaner, it's uh, transparent, and uh, I think over time, it means the tax on companies comes down. So I think these are the low-hanging fruits. And if I was disappointed, it was the fact that the clear road on GST was not established. Mm -hmm. Now, it's possible he chose not to give a date because many have given dates before which have not been achieved. But I would have liked to have heard that, you know, that he sees the date as April 2015 or more realistically April 2016. We could have even lived with that. Uh, but, of course, it hasn't been ignored, and that is good, too. So getting these sort of things done, disinvestment, GST, these are one-timers, you know, one which benefit we can bring. Across the world, even, even fiscal hawk countries, you know, something like Germany, they're all taking a bit of leeway with uh, fiscal discipline. You ha we are on two sides. One, we have immense poverty, we have inflation, people are not being able to buy goods. They've thrown out a government which had, uh, which came, was there for 10 hours, uh, 10 years, and given them not even 50 seats. And here we have a government which comes into power, neither gives anything towards growth, nor gives anything to, uh, major to, uh, to, be, uh, to uh, on the other side of the spectrum. Isn't this, uh, you know, this kind of fiscal? I mean, to use a very strong word, this fiscal Talibanization to say that. I have to stick to these numbers, essentially whittling down anything that a government can do. 4.1 this year, reducing and effectively saying that uh, allocations are very minor, allo dispersal dispersals might not happen as it happened under Chidambaram. And uh, then 3.6, 3 then 3, effectively saying that increasingly we are not going to be spending or else they're expecting some magic in terms of uh, revenue receipts. And why, do, why are governments tying themselves down? This is not what one expected. But you know, if you look at where have they cut back, they haven't cut back. There's a little bit for everyone here. They haven't given tax ops to uh, why didn't the they individual. Not Shouldn't they, they have, have in a time they? like this when the entire industry has been looking towards a change, some sort of yeah. expenditure, uh, shouldn't they have given something? I don't believe uh, that uh, we should have because the signal it would have sent out, again, of populism, pandering to the gallery, of no discipline, is, is horrible. Uh, we actually, as a country, spend a lot of money. It's just that it's badly spent. And I think the review of the expenditure side is critical. I think tightening up on revenue collection through GST and such mechanisms is critical. To unlock... Uh, to unlock Taxes that are stuck in disputes and uh, litigation is critical. So there's money lying all over the place that is unproductive. And the effort has to be now to clean that up, uh, not to give more sops to my mind. In fact, let's not ignore the fact that at a time when there could have been, and look at the way Germany and other countries have actually also felt the pain mm -hmm. in uh, their economy. It's not as if... And nor is their fisc as out of control as ours. And there was a lot of pain that right. came back to domestic uh, customers in France, in Germany, 
uh, which we have not seen. In fact, what he has done in his budget is uh, given, albeit small, investment uh, increases uh, through ATC, through uh, uh, the pension funds, through also to small and mid-sized companies through the investment allowance being dropped from 100 to 25 crores, mm -hmm. uh, which was one of the asks at Fiki. So the fact is that there are bits there which indicate, look, I'm sensitive to your needs. I mm -hmm. want to help you. I'm going to help you a bit now. And if the economy gets on track in the next six months and I have a little more time to study what is there mm -hmm. by next March, maybe I can do some more. All right. Of course, he hasn't held that promise, but that is what I would like to believe. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us, Nan Lal Kidwe. Pleasure as usual. We'll have, hope to have you back soon when we read the fine print yeah, and find right. more. When you yes, have time I to read the fine print as well. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.